Uh, well, I got into music through the Black Baptist Church. I used to go to church a lot with my grandmother and my mother. Uh, we went a few times a week, and uh, just started when I was maybe, I mean, it started when I was born, but I remember when I was four or five years old, running up to the piano in church and playing and banging on the piano. And uh, my mother, from there, put me into piano lessons. And uh, I started playing in church soon after that. And so I played in church from around five or six until I was 12 and 13 years old. Uh, piano was my first instrument. And then uh, from there, I started playing drums in fifth grade. And I think in fifth grade, you're 11 years old or 12 years old. I did that for a year. And I would bang on my mom's walls and she told me to stop. <laughs> and I had to get a new instrument, so I chose trumpet. Uh, like I told you before, uh, just because I thought it would be easy because uh, it only has three buttons. And uh, the first day I took it home, I realized how hard it was. And from there, I was immediately in love with it just because of the different sounds that you can get from it. And it just felt like part of me. And I love the challenge of it. Uh, so that's how I got into music. Uh, how did I get into uh, improvised music? Uh, in eighth grade, I went to a jazz camp where a lot of the local musicians in the area were teaching. And it was like a week long, but from there, I developed a lot of important relationships with the local musicians. And they started to take me to gigs and to record shops and to performances. And I really, really, really fell in love with jazz and improvised creative music from there. In a way, yes, and, and in a way, no. Uh, it's always just been creative music, you know. It's, uh, it's, you know, I started with gospel music, and jazz is gospel music to me. I mean, it's, 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 you know, it's played for or should be, in my opinion, it should be played for a higher order, you know, for a god or, you know, for to express things that we can't express as humans. Uh, so no, it's, it's, it hasn't really changed in that sense, but. As I study more and I learn more, of course, my perception and my understanding of it is always changing. So, yes and no. Oh, I learned that, uh, I mean, the thing that I always tell people that I learn is the most important is that I'm a human being first, a uh, musician second, maybe not even second, maybe I'm a human being, then a son and a, you know, a partner and all these other things are a little bit more important than being a jazz musician. You know, even an artist comes before being a jazz musician to me. Um, so that's what I've learned from all of them. And those things that come before being a jazz musician, they make you a better musician. So just, just talking to Herbie and Wayne, and Jason Moran is a good example of that too. Uh, he's a little bit closer to my age, so I can have uh, a little bit more uh, in-depth and personal conversations with him about it. But if you look at his career, he's spanning out all over the place into, into the art world, and that's kind of what I see myself doing. Everybody, but mainly my peers, uh, you know, like everybody in my band, definitely. But there are some other musicians that are great, also. Uh, Gretchen Parlato, Becca Stevens, uh, Abishai Cohen, the trumpet player, uh, Christian Scott, uh, Jeremy Pelt, trumpet player, uh, Aaron Parks, Eric Harlan, uh, Joshua Redman, Mark Turner. You know, all these people that I get to share the bandstand with and get to talk with. It's uh, I really feel fortunate to grow up in this time because there's a sense of community starting to develop that I think prior generations may have uh, ignored. Uh, so yeah, I feel, I feel really honored to be alive right now.
think my generation is starting to focus on the now and the future uh, with respect to the past. And I think that that's cool. I think that's what an artist is supposed to do. You're supposed to reflect the times and, and the, the future while, while, respond, right, right, while paying uh, honor to the, to the past. You know, people like Esperanza Spaulding, I think, I think it's great that she's getting the attention that she can get, you know, that she's been getting. You know, she won Best New Artist at Grammy out of everybody in the world. That's amazing, you know, and um, so yeah, really, I'm really, Christian Scott, you know, he's doing some interesting st stuff, you know, doing rock and jazz and, you know, Eric Lewis. There's some really great, great people out right now, and I'm, I'm really excited. <laughs> You know, we've been knowing each other for a long time, so I, I really trust everybody in the band to do whatever they feel like doing in the moment. Uh, so yeah, this particular band is a vehicle for imp improvisation. But I think eventually, and right now I'm working on a book of music that uh, uh, is, is mainly composed, and it features like uh, the different timbres of certain instruments, and that's what it'll be about. But this particular unit is about improvising. Uh, a lot of this stuff is composed, but from there, each musician decides, or can decide, what they want to do with that material. I enjoy learning uh, new things about different cultures, and, uh, and I, I, I enjoy that because it makes me reflect on the things that I believe about myself and my culture, about the United States. So coming over here is every day, and we're in a different country usually. So you just you get to compare, you know, your beliefs against other people's beliefs, and you know, and also like seeing different monuments that I, I read about, you know, growing up and in history class and things like that, and. I think it's great eating food and yeah, I think just, just so mainly learning about other people's cultures and seeing it change. You know, I started touring when I was 17 years old. So, you know, that was 13 years ago. And in that time, I can see a change in, in certain countries that I visited then and now. So it's really, really cool. I think my future projects will will be it'll be a little bit more obvious that I'm branching not branching out of but incorporating other elements of not only music but of different uh, art genres. So I, I would like to do some collaborations with dancers or you know a video uh, specialist or or have someone painting while I'm playing or you know different things like that. Uh, I just want to broaden. My artistry. I want, I want to. Be, at the end of the day, when I when I pass away, I want people to say he was a, an amazing artist, not a, a great trumpet player. To me, that's that's a very small thing, and I don't. I think a lot of musicians forget that that this is an art form, so therefore we should be artists. So I think that it'll be a little bit more obvious in the future. I want to do a project with singers, but no, I can't. If I could sing, I, I, I would sing, but no, I can't. <laughs> that won't, you, you won't catch me singing.
Well, that was about me just thinking about what it means to be a man. Uh, and in that thought process, I thought, okay, you know, what if I have a daughter one day and she asks me, uh, when I'm in, what did you do when you were 24 and 25? You know, I don't want to, I don't want to have to tell her all these, you know, bad things, like confessional type things. And so that really kind of put me on a straight path. So I called it Confessions to My Unborn Daughter, because I don't have a daughter. But just the thought of thinking about my teenage daughter asking me a question like that was enough to really... <laughs> <laughs>